Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a brief overview of what I use for a substitute binder in my own classroom. I get a lot of questions about this and I do sell a template for a substitute binder on my TPT shop, but I want to show you what I think is really important to have in your substitute binder um, to make sure that you feel confident when you have to be out of the classroom. Um, first thing is you need to make sure that it is clearly labeled and that people know what the binder is. Um, especially if you're out without knowing that you're going to be out, it's good that your um, other colleagues know where to find it, what to look for, um, and then of course repeat substitutes know what they're looking for as well. So I have mine clearly labeled with the school year um, and my new name. I'm very excited. All right. So inside my binder. So I start out with a like a little welcome letter and it's super simple, straightforward. It just tells people um, what they're gonna find in here in the order that they're gonna find it. And then as well as I ask them to fill out a sub report at the end of the day so that I know how their day went. Um, and we'll get back to that in a little bit. But it's large um, in your face, you can't really miss it. And then um, my school has a, like a substitute pack and I do the letter, I put it right in here for them. Um, then I have like the, the binder dividers, the section dividers so that um, people know where everything is and it's clearly labeled. So I have the basics, so it's schedule, class list, attendance, and then information about who can help them. Um, so I have a attendance sheet. Obviously mine's blank right now because of the fact that I haven't gotten my class list for next year yet, but it'll have uh, five of these and one for each of my classes um, available. And all they have to do is they have to go through and mark the date that they're there and then whether or not somebody's there, which is exactly what an attendance sheet is, right? Right, good job, Lizanne. Okay, so I also have information about um, the school and um, if they need that information as well as um, the map. And then we have a lesson plan section, which is where I put the lesson plan. Obviously nothing there because I haven't started school yet. I also have an emergency lesson plan section. Um, I can't emphasize how important it is to have emergency lesson plans. Um, anything could happen at any time. I was out a couple of times last year. I got pneumonia. I wasn't planning on being out and all of a sudden I couldn't go to school, didn't have time to make an emergency lesson plan and that really backfired on my face. Luckily, my team that I work with was able to help me out and set something up, but I don't ever want to have to go through that again. So I made sure I already have an emergency lesson plan for next year set. So I have mine in here and it's a close reading lesson because that's appropriate for what I teach. It can be inserted in any time during the year. Um, it's a great review for kids. Um, um, and I just left a little note of how many copies they would need and then as well as there's an answer key included. So super simple and I already have it set and ready to go. I also have an important procedures part. This is really important, especially if you're a new teacher because every classroom is different and you don't want somebody coming into your classroom and not having any idea how you want your ship run. And I think this is a really big deal. I think every teacher secretly is a type A personality and needs things to, hap to happen a certain way. And I think it's also really important that if your kids walk into the classroom and start doing weird things that the teacher knows that that's what's expected of them or not expected of them. So I have the important procedures here. Um, so I also have the handbook for the middle school that's included. And then I also have a our emergency procedures, fire drill, evacuation, lockdown drill, and then medical emergency information. And I also have our classroom fire drill roster. Um, obviously it's blank, again, because I don't have my students yet. And then I have my behavior management section. Um, honestly, I only have like one kid a year, maybe, that has something like this, but it is really important to make sure that you do include that and have it accessible for any substitutes or other adults that you have in your classroom at any time. Um, and then I have the daily routine section. Again, if kids come into your classroom and start doing really weird things like writing all over the boards, but that's what's expected of them, it's good for your substitute to know that. So I have the daily routines here. I also have the schedule portion, that's included. Um, and then I also did my flexible seating policy because kids like to take advantage of new adults in the classroom. So I have that here so that the substitute knows what's expected of them um, using the flexible seating in my classroom. 
And then the final section of my substitute binder is the sub report. And I like to know how my classroom um, and lessons went during the day. So all they have to do is um, during the day, they just need to fill out a sub report. And it's just the date, substitute, and then daily notes and comments, as well as um, awesome students and then students who needed a lot of behavior reminders. Obviously, I'm not giving every substitute a colored copy of this. I just make a black and white copy of this and then I fill it up in here. Um, I just, I can't, I don't have access to the building yet, so I haven't made those black and white copies yet. But I just hole punch them and put them right in here. And that's it. And that's my entire substitute binder. It's pretty straightforward and simple, but I can't tell you how important it is and how much better you'll feel knowing that you have all of the information in one spot easily accessible for your um, substitute. So if you guys have any questions, um, my Instagram handle is down below if you wanna DM me. Um, and then I also, like I said, I have this available in my TPT shop in a couple of different um, themes. I have this, I have a flamingo theme, I have a cactus theme, um, and those are available as well. So I will link those for you down below. All right, well, if you have any questions, let me know, and I would love to help you set this up. All right, happy planning, guys. Thanks.